Hey everyone, I'm trying something a little new today because I'm going to play with my Viviva watercolor color sheets. They're perfect for outdoor painting. Hello my creative friends, Jessica Sanders here. Welcome to my channel. I haven't done a lot of outdoor painting, but I really am interested in trying it. And so I'm here at a local park. It's called Mary Jo Peckham Park in Katy, Texas, and it's a really beautiful day. And so I'm just going to show you a little bit of footage here so you can see we've got ducks and we've got a beautiful lake. Let me just show okay, that to so you. You can see some ducks here playing in the water. The water is beautiful. It's sunny day. People are out at the park having fun, trying out I don't know, there's some kind of music thing going on up there. And so what I'm going to do is just set up for some painting, some dog walking and exercising going on. And while I do that, I'll show you a little bit about the Viviva watercolor color sheets. And then I'll come back and do a little outdoor painting for you. So big thank you to Viviva for sending me these beautiful color sheets and a sketchbook. I was so surprised to get the sketchbook. I'm really excited to try these out, but the first thing I really need to do is swatch the colors because these are kind of unique watercolors in that they're on sheets. So let me show you what they look like. This is the original Sketcher set. It has 16 colors and a water brush in this box. It actually is a book of colors which is pretty cool concept. Now I know that um, some other companies make similar products. These are actually handmade in India, I believe. Yeah, it says the Viva color sheets are revolutionary watercolors in the form of a booklet. They're designed for professionals and hobbyists alike to paint anytime, anywhere. Our mission is to spread the joy of painting to everyone. So they're super vibrant. They're made from premium dyes. These are not pigment watercolors. They're from dyes. So they will be more vibrant possibly than pigments. Uh, they are long lasting as in the sheets last a long time. And they are ultra portable, smaller than a cell phone. And this packet is biodegradable. So pretty cool. This set of sheets and this water brush were in that box of the original colors. And as you can see, when I open up this booklet, first it has a place to write my name, then it tells me how to use these colors, some tips, and this is so fun. Be amazed, the pigment on these color sheets is highly saturated. That means the colors you see here are different from their actual color on paper, which is why they need to be swatched, or else I won't know what I'm getting into at all. And they have a partition, between colors that has a special water repellent coating to help avoid sticking when wet. So that's what this is. So this keeps it from sticking together. And look at the depth of that color on there. Wow, wow. Now these variations are normal part of the process for the pigments. Look at this. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay. <laughs> And they do recommend that you let the colors dry before closing the color sheets. So with that in mind, I think that less water is probably better. And so a water brush is probably perfect for that. Or a watercolor brush that doesn't hold a whole lot of water. So you wouldn't want a huge watercolor brush with lots of water and put on these because you need to let them dry before you close them if possible. It says they are super safe. They are safe to use, but please do not ingest them. So we're not going to eat our watercolors. <laughs> and we should wash our hands with soap and water after use, which is kind of normal, right? So beautiful. They are made from dyes. And they have this little space here for swatching where the, where the word is. I didn't even know that. That's so Look cool. Look at these gorgeous colors. Now this is the original set. Okay, so here's something that we're talking about at the beginning. See this says sap green 
and this doesn't look like sap green and this is light green and that definitely does not look like light green so what they're trying to say is because they're highly pigmented and they're concentrated just like a say a pan water color you can't necessarily see the color of the paint on the swatch and it may even look a different color altogether I think so swatching these is very important there's that divider sheet again look at this this is peacock blue look at that it's got a little bit of sheen in it I like that that should be fun viridian violet okay so this is violet does that look violet to you that looks green greeny yellow <laughs> and that's Persian blue so when I swatch it you'll be able to see the difference here's a magenta it looks brown slate black it looks pretty black and then there's the end here's another divider sheet and it also has this handy dandy stick the mixing palette here for extra awesomeness it says so stick the panel mixing panel here <clears throat> it's got sticky tack sticky on the back there so you can stick it together and you'll have a little mixing palette here on the side of this sort of heavyweight paper I will probably do this and try it out but honestly I will take a small dish as a palette because I'm, I'm probably going to need it for my painting process but if you don't and you want to keep it super simple then they have this here and I would say you just wipe it off when you're done right you can even stick this down now look at this super easy peel that off stick it down okay so there you go you just open that up put your paint palette there okay so I will need to swatch these again this is the this is the original this is the original set came out of this box yes this is the original sketcher set super vivid transparent watercolors again these are dye based and they are handmade in India 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 amazing so let's look at this next one this is the spring set and it shows the 16 colors it has here same packaging tells a little bit about their story oh I think this is interesting the Viva colors is founded by two brothers Aditya and Rohan which I apologize for mispronouncing those our mission is to make art more convenient and spread the joy of painting to everyone we make the Viviva color sheets the revolutionary watercolors in the form of a small booklet we are a socially conscious family-owned business our products are handmade by local women in our community we welcome you to the Viviva family so it has this picture of how they're using this in the sketchbook pretty cool pretty cool okay let me open it up I had already opened this one so it was not wrapped in the clear plastic this one they do come wrapped inside the box in the clear plastic which is good because you know they're activated by water so you don't want that and then you could just pull that string I just discovered that I didn't know that before and open it up and voila super easy all right so these are the spring colors it says here super vivid transparent watercolors made with love <laughs> and then here are the colors so vivid red and cherry blossom again super intense on the swatch on the this is actually the watercolor paint so really interesting it has the divider sheets just like the original set saffron burgundy happy yellow that makes me happy just looking at it tree bark brown foliage green olive green that doesn't look green at all but when we paint I'm sure we'll see that it's green lemongrass ocean blue extra sheets indigo and midnight blue again that doesn't look blue at all but when we paint it it will metallic baby pink oh a metallic red it has metallic colors Ooh, that's exciting metallic light green metallic sky blue how fun and this also has the palette that you can add which I won't do that right now but you can see that it's here okay so that's super so these fun. are the two sets I have plus the water brush that came with the original 16 colors they both have 16 colors and I don't know if there's any overlap in the colors or not and they also sent me this sketchbook I was so surprised they 
contacted me and asked me about sending some color sheets and I was like oh yeah I would love to try them I haven't tried them before anything like them and then they also sent me the sketchbook so I was like oh that's exciting I'm gonna go outside and do some actual watercolor sketching so gonna be fun so this is an A5 size ivory colored pages and it has 64 pages which is 32 if you just do one side it's called Lesebo Design Paper. So that's a little bit different, not what I'm used to. I would have to do a little research to find out about that. 240 GSM, which is 120 pound paper, hot press, a smooth surface, acid free. And it has this nice little sleeve, it has their story on the back. It's faux leather bound, it opens fully flat, handmade with love and eco-friendly. So let's slide this out of the case. Oh, the, the cover is really nice feeling. Yeah, really nice. Really pretty. Okay, so it has this nice band, keeps it closed, which I love that about some watercolor sketchbooks. So it feels really nice. Oh, it does. Look at this. Let me move this. Look at that. It does open completely flat there. The cover does. Now the paper, yeah, it does too. Look at that. I mean, the pages stick up. That's normal. Just put a little clip there. No problem. But it does open all the way flat. So that's a pretty cool feature, I think, of this sketchbook. So see how this part is not attached to here? And that allows it to open up and fold out there and lay very flat, which would be great for sketching outdoors or even indoors, right? Oh, I like this, this little this paper looks really nice it is an off-white color so even if you put even if you put say the white of the print here on our booklet you can tell the difference in the warmness I think um, which is really nice and pretty and I like the feel of it it feels it feels good it feels heavy I like it my next task is to swatch these color sheets and I'm going to do that in my book and so that will be I'm gonna leave the first page not a swatch oh this is actually a cover sheet not the actual paper I can tell the difference in the weight so this is a cover sheet and then you have the paper is it open all the way mm. Oh, you have to just like work a little maybe that first one doesn't open as wide so the little this beginning part it kind of folds well, that's okay I will probably just do like inside I think the paper is the same no matter which side it is it seems like it is doesn't seem to be a difference so I'll just swatch these. I'll start with the original set and then do the spring set. I'm really, actually, really excited about the spring set because, well, it's spring right now. So I'm excited. All right, so let's get started with the swatching. So aren't these colors just gorgeous and vibrant? Look at the beautiful range of color we have here. They're just wonderful. And I also wanted to try the metallics 
on black just to see how they looked on the black watercolor paper and they look really great. You can still see the color and the sheen. So really beautiful sets. I can't wait to get outdoors and paint with them. Okay, back to the park. I just brought my set, my spring set, and I have a water brush and some other watercolor brushes that don't hold too much water. I did bring some clips and I'm glad that I did because one of the challenges I found painting outdoors is that the wind could be blowing and guess what? You need to hold your pages down. So I had to figure out first of all what to paint and then kind of how to do the setup because it's a little different than painting in my studio. So you can see first I tried the little booklet palette on my right, which is where I normally keep my paints in the studio, but that wasn't working very well because of the wind blowing. So I just ended up holding it in my non-dominant hand, which happens to be my left hand. And then that was much easier and I was able to flip back and forth between the pages pretty easily. Now that paper in the sketchbook was wonderful. It did not buckle, it just, took the water, I put even some extra water on there and there really was no buckling. And it was smooth, but it has a very slight texture and that was also really nice. So the question of what to paint. Having not normally painted outdoors, I looked around me and there's everything. I could paint anything, so many possibilities. So I decided the first thing I thought I would do was just capture the happy, relaxing atmosphere that was at the park or try to and so it, as it turned out these spring colors were great for that because they're bright and vibrant and I just used a mix of different blues different greens I added in some of that happy yellow because it made me so happy and I was really happy with the outcome of my little painting sketch and it was such a relaxing process So you can see that I've already used a mix of blues, I've used a mix of greens there, and I'm just, just testing out and trying out some different colors. And one thing that I did notice was when I started getting into those metallics, in the sun, they were just absolutely magical. Just really, really magical, sparkly, metallic colors and I really enjoyed that in this particular spring palette. Now I said earlier when I was doing the swatching that I would probably bring a small dish as a palette but guess what I forgot it but it worked out just fine when I tried to do a little color mixing I was able to do it on the provided little piece of palette paper it worked really well it didn't none of the color the color did not sink into the paper it has a coating on it that makes it resistant and it worked great so I was really enjoying my day and took my time painting and I painted more than just this one painting but for this video you'll just see this one painting but I'm going to time-lapse the rest of this video it's just more painting outside in nature and I hope you'll enjoy that and I'll come back and chat with you at the end of the video a little bit. Oh. 
So that was a great day painting and I got visited by a duck and a squirrel and what more could you ask for? And honestly, if I hadn't gotten these really portable Viviva watercolor sheets, I don't know if I would have gone and painted at the park that day, but I'm so glad I did and I can credit the Viviva watercolor sheets for getting me out of my studio and out into nature for a wonderful day. I will definitely be doing this again.